All right, people ask me, what do I think about Ortiz win over Green Machine? Okay, as you know, Ortiz is breaking out of prospect status into contender status with a win over Green Machine. Naturally, the comparisons between him and Terrence Bud Crawford is going to come into play because I believe Terrence Bud Crawford stopped Green Machine in like eight or nine rounds and Ortiz did it in less. So the natural comparison is going to come. But the truth of the matter is when people ask me about this subject, it depends on what level do you understand boxing. Certain people understand more levels of boxing, meaning I understand matchmaking. What does that mean by that? I already knew Ortiz was going to win because Green Machine is a burnout. He was done. You know what I'm saying? He's totally burned out. That's why his team picked him, you know what I'm saying, for a step-up fight. They know that Green Machine is a burnout, all right? But yet people will have the comparisons with him and Terrence Bud Crawford. But you have to understand matchmaking, and you ha also have to understand that the Green Machine that fought Terrence Bud Crawford is not the one that was in the ring with Ortiz, you have to know these things about boxing, okay? Matter of fact, the fight with Green Machine and Terrence Bud Crawford is one of my favorite Terrence Bud Crawford fights. It was. The Green Machine was strong, fast. Green Machine was a beast in that fight. You know what I'm saying? He came in there really strong. But after that fight, the kid ain't been the same. You know what I'm saying? He's burned out, you know? And Ortiz's team knew that. That's why they made the matchup like that, Okay? And to give you a further example, the, the Gamboa that Javante Davis fought is clearly, and we all know, it's not the same Gamboa that Terrence Crawford fought. But notice when Javante Davis beat Gamboa, there's no comparison between him and Terrence Bud Crawford because we already knew that that wasn't the same fighter. But notice when he cleaned Gamboa clock, it wasn't no... Javante Davis Ter Terrence Crawford comparisons you know but of course you got Ortiz and they gonna make that comparison it's the same thing that is not the same fighter you know but if you know boxing and, and if you know matchmaking and stuff like that and you got levels to your knowledge in boxing then you know that that's why I ain't watched the fight because I knew he was gonna win but I'm gonna catch up on that shit later okay the other thing is uh Ortiz calling out Crawford Ortiz and called out Mayweather. He didn't call out this. He didn't call. Ortiz is doing what somebody in the beginning of their career is taught to do. What do you mean by that? Once again, it depends on what level of boxing you understand. In the beginning, you want to call out those big names to get attention to your name. You're attaching your name to the big names, and you don't have to worry about nothing because those fights will never get made. But mentioning their names will make the headlines. OK, that's how you keep yourself out there. He knows he's not going to fight no Terrence Bud Crawford. He knows he's not going to fight no Floyd Mayweather. He knows he's not going to do it. This is what all beginner fighters do. You remember when uh, Boots Ennis came on the scene? What did he do? Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford, this, this, this. When you first burst on the scene, this is what you do because there's no way those fights are going to get made. But what it will do, it will attach your name to their names and you will end up in headlines for it even though there's no intention on no end of making that fight. Because at the end of the day, it don't matter who the fighters call out. It matters who their management will set in front of them and say, this is who you're going to fight. Because at the end of the day, that's who they listen to. They don't make their own fights. They can call out this person, that person, all they want. They don't make their own fights. But Ortiz, as soon as he came in the game, he was calling the big names. That's what you're supposed to do to get attention to your name. Because I don't think there's no person that's listening to this right now that thinks that Ortiz can beat a Terrence Bud Crawford. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But people take stuff to the extreme just because they can. But they can get smart when they want to be smart. You know? Like I said, it, it, it was no comparisons between Javante Tank Davis and Terrence Bud Crawford when he iced Gamboa. It wasn't. But you got it with it with the whole Ortiz thing. And everybody knows Ortiz can't beat no damn uh, Terrence Bud Crawford. Or maybe y'all think he can. The difference is that kind of fight ain't going to happen no time soon. No time soon. You can't get credit for beating a guy who just come out of prospect status and still fucking developing. All right? So that shit ain't going to happen no time fucking soon. Those are two different 
Those are two different versions of fighters. Just like two different versions of Gamboa, two different versions of Green Machine. And most people know that. They just like to play the, the round around. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, um, it is a good win. Um, it is a good name. And uh, congratulations to Ortiz. But all these superstars that he's calling out, stuff like that, the kid's not serious about that because he can't do nothing outside of what his management is willing to do. And if you think that they're willing to push him in there with some kind of real threat, then you don't really understand boxing yet. You really don't. So, so that's why I say a lot of boxing talk depends on your level of understanding of how boxing works. Most people don't understand how boxing works. Most people don't understand matchmaking. I mean, most people don't understand a lot of the tactics and things that goes on in boxing. It's really not that hard to learn. You only need to pay attention. But if you just want to be at a casual level, then you're at a casual you know, level. But, you know, that's my thoughts on it. I'm out.